All right, so for today's video, we're gonna open up 20 holiday llamas. Uh, before we open them up, I did wanna quickly remind everybody that there's still free llamas available on the x-ray tab. Matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and open them up now. Hopefully you all had a good Christmas for those of you who celebrated. In case I don't see you over the next couple of days, hopefully you all have a happy new year's as well. But yeah, just wanted to remind you all that there's still free llamas available and they're gonna continue being available until January the 1st. But like I said, I also wanna open up some holiday llamas and see what we can get from them. So let's go ahead and open up this first one. I think one of the main things I wanna look out for is to see if we can get Ted from these llamas. I know we could last year and I'm kinda of curious to see if we can get them this year as well. So that's one thing I'm gonna be looking out for. Oh, apparently you can get Ralphie's Revenge. And look, okay. Apparently you can get Ted. Oh, shoot. What? I already have that team perk. Okay, well, when you get Ted, you get the Happy Holidays team perk. And obviously, you're gonna wanna get Happy Holidays if you don't have it already. But yeah, I'm not really sure why we got it again because I already have that team perk. And here are his standard and commander perks. But yeah, I just wanted to see if we could get Ted because you can also get Ted from the Gopher Frost Knight quest. So those are two different ways you can get Ted if you don't have them already. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up another one. So the other reason I wanted to upload this video was because I wanted to remind everybody what you can expect to see this week as well as next week. What is going on with that candy in the background? Wait, does it usually bounce around like that? But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick reminder on everything you can expect to see this week as well as next week. I know technically we already went over this a couple weeks ago, but I know not everybody saw that video. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the home base status report again for those who missed it. Oh, we got Fragment Flurry just on that one. All right, so this week starting on January the 1st at 7 p.m., we're gonna get a new Frost Night Challenge called Top It Off. And with this one, the storm's intensity is gonna increase. And reports from Frost Knight show that the storm damage is ramped up and closing in faster than ever. Make sure you keep the burner field to help mitigate these effects. And from this llama, it looks like we got Alchemist Sarah. If you're able to complete the Top It Off Frost Knight Challenge, you're gonna get the Tree of Light Sword. And all you have to do is just survive for 30 minutes and you'll be able to get it. Uh, it is pretty good when it comes to dealing damage and up oh, we got sergeant winner for that one as well as harvester sarah but yeah the tree of light's really good when it comes to dealing damage because you can put three crit damage perks on it uh, but just keep in mind that the attack speed's not as fast as some other swords you may also have to use a core re perk on it in order to make that six perk more useful and you'll also receive this banner once you complete that challenge and I believe for that challenge, all you have to do is just survive for 30 minutes. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up some more llamas, see what else we get. We got Warden Kyle, let's see what else. We also got a Pop Shot and another Pop Shot. And there are the perks that came with it. And we'll take a look at everything new that we got once we finish opening these llamas. Monks is also gonna be added to the event store on January the 1st at 7 p.m. And I, I don't really consider her to be one of the best ninjas. If anything, you may just want to get her for your collection book. Oh, we got another Warden Kyle and an Epic Survivor. And here's Monk's standard and commander perks for those who haven't seen them yet. And there are her three abilities. Now we have already reviewed both Monk's and the Tree of Light Sword. And they're pretty up to date, so I'll go ahead and leave a link to those reviews in the description if you'd like to go check them out, but we're not going to review them again. Okay, so for this one, we got a legendary Ralphie's Revenge. Anyways, in the previous home base status report, they also mentioned that next week we're going to get another challenge that's called the Final Frost Knight Challenge. And this one's going to include all of the Frost Knight challenges we've had up to this point. And for this one, we got Jolly Headhunter, who I don't need. And I believe if you're able to survive for 30 minutes on this final frost challenge, you'll be given the shark attack rocket launcher, as well as a unique banner. So I'll go ahead and show the banner as well as the rocket launcher here in a second. Oh, we got a blizzard blitzer. So here's all of the different perks you can put on the shark attack. And here's what it looks like up close. Not one of my favorite grenade launchers because it bounces 
and you'll also receive this banner once you complete that challenge but yeah you'll be able to get him from the final frost knight challenge which begins on january the 8th at 7 p.m and we've already reviewed that recently as well i'll leave a link to that in the description okay so for this one we already have both of these that doesn't matter let's see what else we get from it though oh that's it okay and the last thing we're going to get next week is the cloak shadow and he's going to be available in the event store since he's legendary i assume he's going to be 2800 gold and that's everything we're going to get for the next couple of weeks oh we got a legendary blitzer that time and there are the perks that came with it and here are his standard and commander perks so yeah i just wanted to give a quick reminder as to what you can expect to see over the next couple of weeks keep in mind that the current venture season is expected to end on january the 24th so you're going to want to make sure you grab everything from the event store and complete all the quests and challenges you can before then now i actually don't remember reviewing cloak shadow so if y'all would like us to review them let me know in the comments below but we've pretty much reviewed everything else that you're going to see over the next couple of weeks so i'm not going to re-review those if you'd like to see it just check them out in the description but if y'all would like us to do cloak shadow then we may review them since we haven't reviewed them yet i was also thinking we may do a 144 pain train and 144 santa's little helper as well if y'all like to see one of those let me know in the comments below obviously for those of you who've been playing save the world for a while you've noticed that we haven't gotten anything new which is why i've been playing some other games lately and i noticed uh, we did have quite a few people leave the channel which is okay but i just wanted to give y'all a heads up that we will be playing other games as well as save the world from here on out so if you're okay with that feel free to stick around if not then I, I appreciate the support you showed this channel up to this point but yeah the reason i say that is because i don't want to do the same reviews every year year after year so instead i'm just going to redirect people to previous gameplays that we've done as long as they're up to date anyways it's been a couple weeks actually it's been a couple months since the last time i mentioned it uh, be sure to use creator code a1 get this money if you like to support the channel and make sure you join our discord if you haven't already we do giveaways on there almost every single day and we've been doing a lot of really good giveaways this past month because of the holidays so if you like some cool people to play with or talk to then be sure to check out the discord link that's in the description also be sure to follow on twitch if you haven't already i try to stream on there at least four or five times every week and i noticed a lot of people leave comments on youtube videos asking if i can add them twitch is the best place to do it so be sure to follow me on twitch we can get you in my friends list through that way so there's the person i got on the pot shot i'm not sure how many we've opened i sort of lost count i'm gonna go ahead and open up two more just to make sure we have at least 20 because i think we had like 12,000 tickets when we started so let's see what we get from this one then we'll open up one more and i think we may try to stream tonight if i get this video up quickly enough we'll, we'll stream on twitch tonight if not we will definitely stream on twitch tomorrow you know what, let's go ahead and open up one more just to be sure because like i said i don't know how many tickets we had when we started i wasn't paying attention but with this one we got warden kyle another epic survivor and that's it also if you look towards the right you can see we have 332 llama saved if y'all would like us to do a live stream showing everything we get from those llamas, let me know in the comments below. I don't think I can do it in a video because it's going to take too long to render, but we can definitely do a live stream on YouTube showing everything we get from those llamas. But let's see what we get from this last one. Guardian Bull, another Blizzard Blitzer. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out all the new stuff we got. First, we're going to start off with schematics. Look at all these Blizzard Blitzers. We got three legendary ones going to show the perks on everything we got by the way we got a ralphie's revenge contender another blizzard blitzer we got three pop shots and we also got two supersonic slashers when it comes to the heroes we got fragment flurry jess jolly headhunter sergeant winner and ted so that's everything we got after opening 20 holiday llamas but yeah this sums up everything i'm gonna do for this one like i said i hope y'all had a happy holidays and i hope y'all have a happy new year's and I'll see y'all in the next one.